What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video from Type 1 Detour. Today we are arriving at Forest Lake RV Resort Campground. It's a thousand trails in advanced North Carolina. It's kind of right in the middle. It's closer to Lexington, North Carolina, but not a far drive from Winston-Salem. So one thing you might notice is that it's a little warmer here than where we have been for the last three months in Pennsylvania. We are going to enjoy this weather. We have a lot of things planned to do while we are here. We're going to check out uh, Winston-Salem, the historic Winston-Salem area, Lexington, North Carolina, which supposedly is the world capital of barbecue. So we'll, we'll be the judge of that. And uh, some other fun things, we're gonna go to Tanglewood Park. It's a county park here nearby. Uh, it's a 15, 20 minute drive from the campground. <clears throat> There's a lot to do it here in the campground, which you'll see in the full drive around review of the campground that we do in our next video. So make sure you subscribe so that way you are able to be notified when we do release that review video. I'm gonna be here for a week, from a Sunday to a Sunday. We got in here on Super Bowl Sunday, so we're going to enjoy watching the Super Bowl tonight. We are also putting the heat of hose away. It is supposed to drop down into below 30 a couple nights while we're here but I'm just gonna disconnect the the water fill up the fresh water tank but I'm zip tying that winter heated hose it's going away and I don't plan on looking at it maybe ever again if I'm lucky so today we are in Old Salem part of Winston-Salem. It is the old historic district. So we're just going to take a walk around here and see what kind of history we can learn about this old town. Things I know going into it is the founder of the Haynes underwear brand is from here. Um, some tobacco companies and the original Krispy Kreme. So let's see what we can find here. almost dinner break in downtown Winston-Salem next to the Wake Forest uh, School of Medicine and part of Wake Forest campus we're actually in the background this whole area is built around the RJ Reynolds tobacco plants so the smokestacks from the tobacco plants are still there and it looks like they've kind of made this into apartments condos a nice little cool downtown area a couple breweries coffee shops so we're having some Mexican food here and we're gonna enjoy this it's pretty good so far and then uh, Bailey Park which is right behind me back here big open place let the kids run around a little bit and we'll see what else this town has to offer you are in Winston-Salem area and you're coming to the downtown area you can find parking with a dually. There's not a lot of areas, but there are some side streets where you can find some parking. We are on 4th and Church streets. And 
we're parked it's a little tight but we made it there's another truck i mean if you want you can just go up on the curb if you want but don't be discouraged that uh, you're not going to be able to find any parking if you have a dually in this area because you can find some parking somewhere we're in downtown historic lexington north carolina today uh, we're just checking out the downtown main street and one of the things that we were told you have to do when you come here is go to this candy factory so that's where we are right now as you can see somebody's a little excited so we're going to go inside and is a oh, an astronaut Neapolitan no. ice cream sandwich. So this is what they eat in space. We came and we conquered. We have donuts and candy. And if you know anything about us, that's what we like to come and do when we come to a new city is find a donut place. Well, Lexington, North Carolina is uh, famous for its barbecue. So apparently it is the uh, world capital for barbecue. So the story says, we're on the main street in downtown. I didn't see any barbecue places, so they obviously have to be located somewhere else, but we're gonna try to find a barbecue place and then we'll let you know if this really is the barbecue capital of the world. Okay, I haven't tried this barbecue yet. Well, this looks pretty good. So we got chopped, coarse, and sliced, some hush puppies, fried pickles, white slaw, and then red slaw, which I've never had before. Barbecue slaw, I'm sorry. And it's not barbecue sauce, it's barbecue dip. I thought I knew a lot about barbecue. Apparently I know nothing because I've never heard of the dip and I've never heard of the barbecue slaw. Some hush puppies. And apparently the two-year-old thinks the hush puppies are bouncy balls. <laughs> Vineyards and winery about eight minutes away from 
the campground, Forest Lake. So we decided we would get all fancy and go on a little mid-afternoon um, wine tasting. We don't get fancied up much so this is a special occasion for us and we're bringing the kids which they're gonna have their iPads so hopefully they will behave <laughs> Fortunately, our time at Forest Lake has come to an end. Today's our last day here. It's a little windy, a little chilly, but still a nice uh, spring weather kind of day. We're letting the kids play at the playground today. We're gonna go back, eat some lunch, and then try to start preparing for travel day tomorrow. We're gonna be stopping at our uh, first Harvest Host ever. So we're going to a winery. So I guess that's kind of our new thing, a winery yesterday and a winery today or tomorrow. And then from there, we are heading to Tybee Island for a few days. So we'll let the kids enjoy some, uh, some playground here. We'll check back in later. Last one to the playground is a rotten egg. I think I win. You won? Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights 